can't believe I'm saying this, but poor Shigaraki of Whitey Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Boku no Hero Academia chapter 236. So, oh my freaking god. So last chapter we started getting Shigaraki's full backstory, and oh my god, it's so heartbreaking. Because poor baby was abused. He was, uh, his dad was a fucking tyrant. My god. And you can understand why his dad was so was so hateful towards heroes because of you know his mama having to leave but anyway let's get to this chapter and see what happens next at an unwanted time in an unwanted form his quirk appears all too heartlessly oh no the dog huh oh my god why did it have to be the poor puppy monchon the fall one beside him is, and this chapter is titled, um, Shimura Tenko Origins Part 2. Uh, Tenko! Um, you see, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Even though I was the one who secretly showed you, I'm sorry. Hanachan Manchan is... Uh, my voice! What's wrong? Yeah, we don't go. My voice isn't coming out. It itches. Hanachan, it itches so bad. Didn't you come to apologize? Hey! And please, protect me this time. Save me, Hanachan. Mom! I thought some terrible villain was attacking us. That's why Manchan had disintegrated. That's why Hanachan had disintegrated. Oh my god. At this point, I still thought it was someone else's doing. Ugh. No. Maybe not. Ugh. Thinking back on it now. Perhaps I had already understood it by then. It's just your father knows just how hard being a hero is. Why didn't he take my dad's side? Why would they only they only tell me to stop crying? I can't take it anymore. All these little things added up. I hate everyone. <gasps> Tenko! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is not as bad. Uh, I'm, if, for those of you that are not reading Jojolion, yeah, this, I, I'm not as grossed out by this as I was by Jojolion, which I just covered. Holy fucking shit. Jojolion, J fuck, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is the most disturbing fucking thing you'll read in your life. Oh my god, it is. This is nothing compared to that. It's nothing compared to Maho Shoujo's site. This is nothing compared to some of the other ma uh, manga I, I, I cover on this channel. <laughs> my god. Horikoshi is really going for it. I'm so pr dude, I love I love you, Horikoshi. I really need this kind of initiative on the hero storyline. Seriously, we need the spark. We need it. All that time. I'm oh, sorry, waiting so she says it all. At that time. Please from now on, let's try to live together as a happy family. Fuck. Father, father, I'm so sorry. What? Oh, father, father. Oh my god. Stop it, Tenko. At this point, with full intent to kill, I touched my father. Die, die, die. An unrelenting wave of pleasure crashed over me. Oh my god. You have to wonder if... Sh if if Shigaraki was never abused and he was in a loving home, like, you have to wonder how his quirk would have manifested. I'm really curious about that. Perhaps hidden somewhere deep in my heart, I had always been hoping for something like this. Uh, I no longer felt that burning itch, the beginnings of decay. Ooh, ooh, this chapter was brutal. This has to be one of the most fucked up chapters of Boku no Hero Academia. And I'm sorry, Horikoshi, it's still not as fucked up as <laughs> Just this art adventure. Not even close. You're, you're not even at, um, at Jogon levels of fucked up. You're not even, well, I don't know if he's at, if we're at Attack on Titan levels of fucked up. Or Tokyo Ghoul levels of fucked up. Like, dude, there's a lot of fucked up fuck I cover on this channel. Oh my god, there are so many fucked up mangas I cover on this channel. This, this, this is like pretty mild shit, but my god, was it beautiful. 
Oh my god, I thought what we were getting in Vigilantes was motherfucking amazing because of the boy uh, Knuckle Duster coming back and getting some really good Knuckle Duster content. Holy shit. I'm telling you, if you are not reading Vigilantes, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. Go read Vigilantes. It is amazing. But Hor Horikoshi is really stepping up his game. I'm telling you, even powwowing with Tabata and that's been paying off. I swear to God. And you have to wonder if there's, like, some underlying meaning. Like, maybe this is, like, a reflection of, like, the struggle that Horikoshi's been going through. But that, but the thing that's really interesting is that itch. Do you, and I'm very curious, though, if Shigaraki was not abused the way he was uh, by his father, you have to wonder if that itch would still be there. And I'm just, it just makes me wonder about that. Because it seems to me, like, based on this chapter, the desire to, like, kill his father was the thing that was, was that itch that he was trying to hold back. I'm very, I'm very curious what you guys think. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. <laughs> and uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans. Thank you if you love what I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more uh, Boku no Hero Academia content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon watch list. All it's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Remy on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.